Welcome, everybody. Today's topic is again on network marketing objection handling, but we're going to be looking at the excuse that you'll hear from time to time where people say, Well, I wouldn't be good at this. Now, that's a common used objection, maybe not the most common, but definitely common. You're going to hear it from time to time if you prospect. And today I want to share with you how I handle it and how you probably could as well, which will get some of those, you know, people into the business instead of away from the business. So just like I've mentioned before, we always need to understand why people use network marketing objections. If you've seen my previous objection handling videos, you you know, I cover this every time. But the reason they use objections is because they don't see the value in what you're presenting. They don't see the value in it. They don't have a desire for it. If they have a desire for it, and you'll see that when people do, you don't get objections. You get people signing up because they want what you're offering. And that's all it is. It's not that, you know, as great as it is and all the good things that network marketing can bring you. There's just so many people, they, they just don't see it. So they'll throw out objections to avoid getting in. And if you ever feel that that's the case, that a person's just not interested, they're not going to join, I wouldn't even bother with trying to uh, handle the objection. Just, you know, no problem. Let them go. Move to the next. You got to save time. However, when you do feel that it's a legit concern or they really you know they are interested but you know this is a concern they may have then you can overcome the objection usually pretty easy so if you do hear i wouldn't be good at this the idea is to you know a lot of people say that they you know some of them don't believe it some of them do but the best way to get that conversation back on track is to simply agree with them you know if a person says you know i wouldn't be good at this i would just say you know you're probably right and that usually if a person is trying to object they'll agree with me by agreeing with them and move on but if that's not what it is they're going to get a little you know they're going to show a little um pushback you know uh like you know what do you mean why wouldn't i be good at this you know i mean they said it right so you're just agreeing with them yeah you know you're probably right so a few of these people will turn around and even from time to time will get started just to prove you wrong even though they said it they want to prove you wrong because they you know you, know, you agreed with them so that wasn't cool and I'm about to get into why people would even say this if they really don't believe it. It's kind of odd, but yeah. So when someone uses the objection, I wouldn't be good at this. Just agree with them. Just say, you know, you're probably right. This is probably it and something you would do well at. And uh, see how it goes. Because if the person is just blowing smoke, you know, trying to see how you would react, they're probably going to get started. Some of them may try to prove you wrong, but it will flip the ones that are flippable back over to you. So agree with them. Watch where it goes. I think you'll be surprised at what happens. And the reason people will use this objection, the reason they say, I wouldn't be good at this. There's a lot of people out there when they say something about themselves, they really don't mean it. They're hoping you will disagree and 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 tell them like no you're wrong you're wonderful you're awesome you're you'll do wonderful i wouldn't never do that because if someone is doing this it's not a good uh, a good i guess trait yeah you'll see it all the time on facebook you know people posting how they hate themselves etc cetera, etc cetera, just so they can get comments of people saying no you're a wonderful person <laughs> you know it, 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 it'll it happen in network marketing objections. They'll say they're not good at it. They really don't mean that. 
they just want you to disagree and tell them all these wonderful things about them. So by disagree, you know, by agreeing with them and saying, yeah, you probably wouldn't be good at it. If a person is doing that, they will flip and try to prove you wrong. So that is the best way to handle it and to really understand why people do it. It's, it's really kind of a mystery, but that's what they're doing. They're wanting you to disagree and tell them how wonderful they are. And if they're doing that just so they can say, no, thank you, then saying, you know, you probably wouldn't be good at it would probably be the best way to um, not let them set you up in something like that anyway. So guys, uh, hopefully you got some value from this. Be sure to subscribe. Um, if you're on Facebook, you can check out my Facebook page, J Card Marketing. Go by there and like it. I'll be posting, you know, on a regular basis there throughout 2019. You can follow me at, if you're on Twitter, follow me at Jay Carden and on LinkedIn. Be sure to look me up and let's get connected on LinkedIn. I love LinkedIn. It's a great one. You should, uh, if you're not using it, I would highly recommend you do in network marketing. It's really powerful. Also, be sure if you click the link below in the description, you can visit my blog post on this exact topic on the same network marketing objection. And while you're there, you can get a free ebook titled 20 Ways to Get Leads. You can pick it up totally free and it'll share with you 20 ways to generate leads so you can practice objection handling. Pretty cool, huh? So be sure to click the link below. Go get your free ebook. And guys, I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.